Hello, good afternoon, and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. This is the third video for those year 9 in 2021 who are going to the high school this year. So hopefully you are watching my videos and learn something from these videos so that when you go to school uh, sometime at the end of the month or early next month, then you are ready to survive the first week of school. So now today we're going to go to something called rounding decimal place. So in the decimal place, the decimal place is here and there are numbers on the left and on the right of the decimal place. The number that's on the left, the first number is the 10. Of course, that's the first one will be the hundreds. So the 10 followed by the 1. And the first number after the decimal point is called the 10 placing, followed by the hundreds placing, and last but not least, the thousand placing. So in, in the exam, they may ask you to write this in words. You can write it in two ways. One is very simple, 35.246. But the actual way to write them, you are saying there are three tenths, five ones, two tenths, four hundredths, and six thousand. That's the right way to write the equation, uh, write that, that numbers in words. So today we are going to learn how to round this number to one decimal point or one DP and two DPs and so forth. So in the number 35.246, uh, the decimal point is here. So the first decimal point after the numbers after the decimal point is two, followed by four and six. This will be the third. So there are three numbers after the decimal point. If the question asks you to round to one decimal point, so this is the first decimal point, you have to look at the next number, the second number. If one dp, you look for the second number. Two dp, you look for the third number. So if the number four is less than five, then this number remains the same. If it is five or more, for five, six, seven, eight, nine, then the two become the three, you round up. So in this case, four is less than five, so two will remain, so your answer is going to be 35.2. So in other words, you need to note that after the decimal point, there's only one decimal number, so that's why the answer is 35.2. Okay, let's do the second one. 2 dp, again, this is your first dp, second dp, and third dp. As I said before, if you are rounding to 2 dp, you have to look at the third number. In this case, the third number is 6. 6 is more than 5. So in that case, you are going to round that number 4 there to the next number. So your answer, if to round to 2 dp, is going to be 35.2 instead of 4 because it's 6 is here, you're going to round up, 4 becomes 5, and that is how you round to 2 dp. Got it? Good. Now we're going to do something different. Significant numbers is similar, but slightly different. Okay, significant numbers are slightly different. So instead of decimal point, the first number, 3, is a significant number. 5 is the second one. 2, 4, 6 is the third, fourth, and fifth. So the principle is still the same. If I were to ask you to round to three significant numbers, so this is the first, second, third, you have to look at the fourth number. The fourth number is 4, so 4 is less than 5, so 2 will remain, so the answer is going to be 35.2. Got it so far? Good. Now we look at question B. Round to four significant numbers, so one, two, three, four. You this time you look at the fifth number. And this time six is more than five. In other words, you are going to round up the four, the four become the five. So the answer is going to be 35.25 because four is rounded up because six is more than five. Okay, now we look at the interesting question, round to 1 dp. So if you are looking at 1 dp, you have to look at the second number. So the second number is 5. So 5 is more. If, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, you have to round up. So four, 3 becomes 4. But because 35 cannot become the 4, so the answer is going to be 40. So hope you got it. Yes, good. Now we're going to do slightly different. Now, when the number doesn't start with a whole number, but it starts with a zero, 
So we are going to calculate round to 2 dp. If the zero starts at the first two digit, these zeros is not significant. So 4 is the first significant number. If zero occurs after a number that has occurred, then zero becomes significant. So first significant number is 4, second is 0, third is 3, and the fourth significant number is 7. The third significant number is 9, sorry. Okay. So now, if I were to ask you to round to two significant figures, make a guess. Which number shall we look at? We look at the third number. So the third number is 9, so 9 is more than 5, so we're going to round up. So the answer is going to be 0 0.04. 1 because 9 is greater so 40 become 41. Again, if we, I'm asked you to round to three significant number, this time we are looking at the fourth number. The fourth number is 7. Again, 7 is more than 5. We're going to round up. So 409, the next number that's going up is going to be 0. 0. 0.0. 409 become 410. Hopefully you get it. If not, just put a comment below and I help I try to help you in your future dealing with significant number. Have a good day and enjoy your holiday. Cheers.